Hey there Lick and Riffers and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're going to learn Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. So first I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So first it goes like this, enjoy. So um, before we start breaking it down, I would like to remind you that if you're having trouble with the material here on Lick and Riff, if you feel that it's a little bit above your skill level, or if you want to purchase my courses, the Complete Guitar Freedom Course Series, and you feel that it's a little bit above your skill level, um, and you're still in the beginner territory, then I have a new beginner course, the Ultimate Beginner Course, a seven hour course covering everything you need to know to take you from beginner to intermediate and it's called strike a chord and it's on a platform called graphy so click the link in the description and go check it out the ultimate beginner course seven hours 120 mini lessons designed to take you from beginner to intermediate so you can find your way around lick and riff and just go crazy with all the lessons that I'm making for you here. So um, check the link in the description and let's start breaking it down. So the intro is basically E minor. Okay, it's E minor. So it's a hammer on to chew on the D string. Okay, and you can play it with the sixth string as well. Okay, now you don't have to, you can play. Okay, you can just play it as a bass solo. You don't have to play. Okay, you don't have to add the sixth string. Okay, at all. Now, I like to play double stops here. Okay, I like to play two notes. I like to play two strings. So if you play strings four and five, okay, then you have to hammer on both of them, okay, on two. If you play strings three and four, then you only have to hammer on two on the fourth because it's E minor, remember. So, okay, it's a hammer on to two on the fourth, then the open third, and then another hammer on to two on the fourth. Okay, so it's, okay, and you can do it with the sixth ring. Okay, you can mute it right afterwards. And then you can play the sixth ring again if you want. Or you go right next, uh, right to the next uh, lick, which is, okay, so let's break this lick into two. Okay, so uh, literally into twos because it's the open D string and then you have a hammer on to two on the fifth string and then you have it again. Okay, so you have it twice. Okay, and then you have the D string again. Okay, so it's... And then you have a hammer on to two on the fifth string again, okay? 
And then you have a hammer on to two on the D string again. Okay, now you can do zero, zero hammer on to two. You can do this. Okay, if you want a little bit of a, a little bit of a variation here. Okay, and then you have the open third string, and then you put on A, okay, an A chord. You can play it. Okay, or you can play two on the third string and the A bass, the fifth string. Okay, or you can play strings three, four, and five. Okay, and then you can play the rest of the A chord. So you can do. Okay, any rhythm that you see fit. I play. Okay, I play chord um, slap chord. Okay, something like this. Okay, chord slap chord, and I do an, an upstroke in between, just as I feel like in the moment. Okay, if I play this tomorrow, I might play something different. Okay, that's why I don't like to uh, impose my style on you. I want you to take this and make it your own arrangement. Okay, so play it as you see fit. So that's the intro basically, and you play it twice. Okay, and then, okay, and then, okay, or, okay, with, okay, with a zero and then hammer on, on the D strand, and then A. Okay, now you can also, you can also play A sus 2 at the beginning there. Um, and then you can... Um, okay, you can play A sus 2 with the open second string and then A if you want, just for variation. Okay? It, it works, it's an arrangement. You don't have to adhere to the original um, harmony, okay? That's the point of the arrangement, okay? It's a rearrangement, so... Okay? Okay, you can, you can do the zero two on the second string. Okay, you can do it. If you want. Okay, so now you have the intro. Okay, so practice it. The verse starts with. Okay, so it's 0, 3, 5, 7. You can hammer it on. Okay, so. And then you have 7, and you can play it with E minor. Okay, now you can play. You can play an E minor like this 7, 8, 9. Okay, the Y is 6 afraid of 7 chord with the 6th string, or you can play 7 zero, 0 Okay, so... Okay, now I prefer this because we're gonna use 7, 8, 9 a lot, okay, in the coming section, so... Okay, now you don't ha even have to play the chord, you can just play 7 and the bass. Okay, you can just play the bass. Okay, um, it's more than enough here because we're gonna have a ton of chords in a second to handle, so... It's okay to start with just the bass and then build up to the chords. And then you have, okay, five pull off to three, five pull off to zero. And then you have three, three, five. So you can play a chord here. Okay, you can do. Uh, and then, okay, you, you can play strings two and three. Okay, or you can play a D minor shape on three, which is also E minor. Okay, so. Okay, now all of these options are viable. You can just keep the bass. Okay, because then you have a D chord. Um, okay, so it's the open E string. Okay, again, you don't have to play every note. You can just hint at it. So you can play three three zero on the D chord. Okay, and then the second string on three, um, or you can play. Okay, you can start with the open E string, so... Um, okay, so... Okay, um, the important thing here is to keep the block sound. Okay, so... And then you have... Um, 
Okay, the open E string three times with E minor. So it's... Okay, so you play the bass right after the first note. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it's just strings one, one two, and three. Okay, so that's the first line. Okay, you don't have to play anything other than the notes. And then again, you start from seven. Okay, you start from seven. No zero, three, five. Okay? And then you have... Okay? So you um, prepare for an A chord, okay? Five, five, six. Okay? But you take it from three. Okay? So you slide to it. Okay? So you play the A bass with three, three, four on springs one, two, and three, and then you slide it up and play it again. And then again, and then again, and then, okay, three, three, four, and then you have the five, five, six, but you have seven on the first string, and then you play the five. So it's, okay, it's three, seven, five, five on the first string. Two, three, and then, okay, you play it three times, the slide. And then you can do it again. Okay, or you can play it um, with the higher vocal there. You can play it. Okay. So it's uh, A here. It's the D shape on nine. So it's nine, ten, nine. Okay, with A. So you slide from seven. Okay, three times and then seven and then you go back to nine and you play ten nine nine. Okay, using your little finger again. Okay, so it's A and then the higher version. Okay, and then uh, you have the chorus. Okay, so practice the verse. Uh, the chorus is actually, uh, it, it starts pretty simple. Okay, so, okay. Now, there's no reason to play, okay, a note, a lot, you just repeat the note many, many times. You can just try it, okay? And that hints at the, the harmony, so. Okay, it's just E minor, seven, eight, nine with the sixth string, and then I strum it. And then I go to D, okay, five, seven, seven, with the D string, okay, so, and then, okay, it's three and two on strings, two and three, three and two with the six string, and I slide it up to five and four, and then I strum it with the first string, okay, so I have the same note here, okay, it's it's on purpose, okay? And I strum down up, okay? So you repeat this, okay? E minor, D, okay? And then you have the ha 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 thing, so it's, okay? So it's seven, eight, nine, Okay, with the sixth string, you can play the sixth string. And then it's five, seven, seven. Okay, it's D. And then it's E minor on three. Remember? D minor shape, three, five, four. And then D. So it's E minor, D, E minor, D. Okay, with four different shapes. Ah, uh, sorry. And then, okay. You can play this again, or you can play the higher vocal. So I'm playing D, and I slide these two notes up to five and four, and I complete it into D minor. So I have three on the first string. So it's, okay? So it's, um, 
Okay, right? so okay, I slide and then change the chord. So okay, so practice this lick. Okay, it's a very very particular lick. It's it's a a, a chord solo basically. Um, and then um, and then you have. Okay, you go between the first, the, the second E minor actually, this is the first. So three, five, four, you go up to seven, eight, nine. So it's, okay, you can do, um, you can do, okay, three times, okay, and then seven, eight, nine. Okay, the bass should still be ringing anyway, so. Okay, you can play it right before that, right? And then you can do. Okay, it's 10, 8, uh, 10, 8, 10 on the second string, pull off, hammer on, okay, or pull off and then the note. And then the same with eight and seven, and then D. Okay, so it's. the intro again okay. um, then you can repeat the whole song you see saw the save there I played D by mistake um, but I saved it so um, then you have the bridge the bridge is basically uh, an A chord okay so it's so you play A and then you play two two zero on the third string and then you can play the open second string or four two on the uh, third string. So yeah, you can vibrate, you can slide, um, and then again, um, and then you have. Okay, two two zero two zero two zero, and then you start the intro again. So it's okay. That's the first line. It it you repeat it twice. Um. Okay, and then okay. So you got it. To the intro and you play it twice okay and then you can play everything again so that's your lesson okay and remember if you're having trouble with the difficulty level of some of the lessons here you have the ultimate beginner course on graphy Check the link in the description and the tab is for free as well. The link is in the description as well. So uh, check that out. Go download the tab from the Lick and Ref web website and I will see you again uh, on Lick and Ref in the very next lesson. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.